Hi, this is Mrs. Nelson. We're going to be looking at an addition strategy today that you could call adding up in chunks. So what we're going to do is we're going to take an addition problem, like 48 plus 25, and we're going to just add one chunk at a time. In this case, we're going to add the tens, and then we'll add the ones. So I'm going to take 48, leave it the same, but I'm going to break 25 down into 20 plus 5. So the tens and the ones. And I'm going to add the tens first and then the ones. So I have 48, I'm going to add 20. I can use a count up strategy counting by tens. So if I was counting by tens, it would be 48, 58, 68, 78, etc. So I'm going to count up. I'm at 48, so I'm going to count up two tens, 58, 68. All right, so I've added the 20, and now I want to add five. So I have 68, I'm going to add five more. Again, I'm going to use a count up strategy. You can't see me, but I am using my fingers with this strategy. So I'm at 68, I'm going to count up 5, 69, 70, 71, 72, 73, 68 plus 5 is 73, so 48 plus 25 is 73. Yes, I'm showing each step um, so that you can see what I'm thinking and what I'm doing, but do you have to write all these parts down? No, you can if it helps you to know what you're adding next or what you're doing next. But these addition strategies are, are intending to build your mental math skills so that you don't always have to write it down or you don't always have to rely on a calculator or you don't always have to rely on the standard algorithm to add, that you can approach it in a different way. Let's try another one. We have 36 plus 56. I can break down either one of these numbers, and I'm going to actually break down 36 because 56 is larger, and if I break down 36, I can, I'm can i adding only three tens versus adding five tens if I were to break down 56. So I'm going to break down 36 into 30 plus 6, and then I'm going to add that to 56. Well, I can apply the commutative property of addition, and I can pretty much add in any order. So I'm going to add or rearrange that so I know that I'm adding 56 plus 30 plus 6. So same value, same add-ins as before, but I just changed the order. So 56 plus 30. So I'm going to count up three tens. I'm already at 56. Again, I'm using my fingers even though you can't see me. I'm going to count up three tens. 66, 76, 86. Okay, so I simplified part of that. I have 86, but I still need to add six more. Again, I'm going to use a count up strategy. I'm going to start at 86, and I'm going to count up six. 87, 88, 89, 90, 91, 92. So 36 plus 56 is 92. Again, these are steps that you can do in your head. You don't have to write these down, but I wanted to show you what I'm thinking. So again, this addition strategy you could call um, adding in chunks, or you can think about it any way that you want to, and you don't even have to give it a name, but you can just use it in your uh, addition as you wish. I would like to show you a three-digit number plus a three-digit number to show that you can do it with bigger numbers, that it doesn't just have to be two two-digit numbers. So I have 138 plus 265. I could break down either one of those, but I'm just going to keep it in order that it is left to right. I'm going to break down 265 into 200 plus 60 plus 5. And I'm just going to add in those chunks. So I'm going to start by adding 138 plus 200. So again, counting up as hundreds. I'm already at 138. I'm going to count up two hundreds. 238, 338. And I still need to add 60 plus 5. So I'm going to start with 338 and add 60. So I'm counting up six tens. So I'm at 338, I'm going to count up 348, 358, 368, 378, 388, 398. So now I'm left with 398 plus 5. So again, I will count up 398 plus 5 more. So 399, 400, 401, 402, 403. So 138 plus 265 is 403. Thanks for learning with me.